Tut bucak, tut bucak. Tut bucak. These are the five letters we have. They have a bounty term, a equal color in Arabic. Tut bucak. When they have a sukun on them, you bounce on them. But we see a lot of reciters giving lamb that sukun, giving lamb that characteristic. And they end up bouncing on the lamb, which is the wrong thing to do. So eat dinah, be all poly, poly, and not poly. Mustaqeen. Now, with this word, mustaqeen, seen, as we mentioned in the ayah previously, it's a letter that needs to be spread out. The word needs to be, the reason needs to be spread outward. If we do the makrash test, the articulation point test, we can put a sukun on seen and put a hamza, Ayyim Alif with a Fratha and you can say As, As and you should feel the breathing flow on your hands. Now because Seen has a Sukun and before it there's a Dhamma on me, there is a Dhamma on me, the Seen ends up becoming heavy and that is a very common mistake that reciters do and they end up pronouncing as Mus, Mus, and they completely change the letter from C to A, Sol. So what we need to keep in mind here is that C needs to be spread out. Sol is spread out as well, but as we mentioned in the previous slide, the Sol is a heavy letter, whereas C is not a heavy letter. So we have each Dina, Siro, Sol, Muf, Muf. And we make the seam soft here. Move the clean. And the vowel here is the three hours of the clean. Clean. In English, we see it written as Isdina, Asirata, and Mustafi. And now, as you mentioned earlier, we drop out the Alif in both these situations and we drop off the lamb in the middle word. Okay, this is the third last slide inshallah. If we have some more slides. Inshallah will be done shortly. The last ayah is Please slide long. So yeah, that's what the continuation is, inshallah. And here we have Firofo. Firofo. Fod here, even though it has the Kasra underneath it, it's still a heavy letter. But it's not as heavy when it has oh, it has a Kasra here. So it would be the same uh, same amount of uh, heaviness in both situations. So we have three, three, zero, four, zero, four. And then the next word we have el el Now with el we drop the alif here, and we connect the ta with the na because of the shudda. So we have Fira Fali, Fira Fali. And because it has a Shadda, hold the sound for a fraction of a second. Fira Fali, Fira Fali. And we do not make it thick. We do not make it thick. The ruling, which I mentioned for the name of Ibn uh, Jalala, which is the name of Allah SWT, in Ayah. Number two, that if it has a fatha or a dhamma before it, okay, that's when we make it six. That's the ruling that only applies in the name of Allah Ta'ala, in Ifa Jalala. And we do not apply the ruling in all the land. So even the land here has a fatha before it, we keep it, we keep it soft. Firaq wallah, firaq wallah. Zina 
And here we have the vowel because we have a customer before it on the letter. Yurapa lazina zina Note the top. Na. An amta. An amta. Now here, I am the soft letter. We have to restrict our breathing here and not let it flow. Otherwise, it would become an amta. Right? An amta. Now, the ruling with noon, the letter noon, when it has a sukun, there's four rulings that come under it. This ruling is the ruling of Izhar, which means to recite clearly. So we don't do Wunna or we don't do Wunna on the Noon here. And we don't recite it as uh, Amsa. Because Ayn is a letter that needs to be recited with Izhar. The sixth letter, Huruf al Halqi, the letters of the throat, that we don't do, we don't apply the ruling of Noon Sakin with Wunna or Noon Sakin. Uh, any of the rulings of the other remaining rulings of Noon Sakin. And those letters of Huruf al Halqi are Hamza, i.e. Alif, Ha, So Hamza, i.e. the Alif, Ayn, the one here, Ha, as seen in here, in the Surya, in Rahma, the other Ha, as seen in the name of Allah SWT, Ghain and Kha, Ghain and Kha, which we'll see in the other side, inshallah. So N, it's recited clearly because of the line after it. And they are called Huruf al Halqi. Huruf al Halqi. Letters of the throat. And the reason they're called letters of the throat is because their articulation point, their makrat, is from the throat. Ain ha, ain ha, ain ha, wain ha. Sirat al lazina an amta. And not um, Amza or Anna Amza, that we do not, we do not give the characteristics or the sifat of Kalpala to Moon here as well, because the letters of Kalpala, the letters of the bounty sound, are these steps. Put the judge, Ha, Fa, Da, Ji, and Da. And Amza, Amza. Last word here is alayhim, alayhim, and not alayhim. A, a, alayhim. And this is not a vowel here because the ya is does not have a kafra before it. Right? So alayhim, him. And the last part of the ayah, alhamdulillah. Wahidi, wa, wa. Now, wa comes from the same makhar, same articulation point as wa, <coughs> Now, in wa, we let the breathing flow. 